Hey everyone, it's Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards and I am finally coming on to do a video. Um, I thought I would open it with this lovely tag that my friend Kat made me and uh, she put my name on it and I think it's a nice way to open up the video. So I have this sitting on my desk, Kat, and I just love um, all the detail that you add to projects. Um, look at all the pretty details on this. Isn't it gorgeous? And the way she did my name. So, so sweet. So that just sits on my desk and I thought I would open this video with it and say hello to everybody. I've been trying to watch a few videos this um, this weekend. I was watching Marilyn's channel and Gloria's channel, Crafty Cake 7, Marilyn G. Um, I popped over to Laura, the Robin Laura, um, but didn't watch anything yet. I got interrupted. <laughs> uh, I popped over to Rhonda's channel, Rhonda Coleman, and... Uh, and then I've been watching a lot of um, jewelry making videos. So I don't know if you guys um, are interested. You know, Anna Fallis makes jewelry. And um, I think there's several other people that, that do too. And uh, when I see I lost one of the pieces to, my, to this bracelet while I was wearing it. Um, anyway, I am just goofing around with starting to, to bead tie. So I learned how to tie beads um, by watching a video on YouTube and then I just, um, I'm playing around with using buttons. These are some metal buttons from Hobby Lobby and then crocheting um, the wax linen thread when I get to the end. I'm crocheting a piece to attach the bracelet like this and then I'm adding some charms um, to this um, closed ring. Um, so anyway, it's just a simple little bracelet, and I've made three so far, and my sister and I have been playing around with some jewelry making, um, and I'm not sure what we're going to do yet, but, uh, I might come back and share some of the supplies that I've purchased. Um, there's been lots of clearance sales, and Michael's had their beads, um, 70% off, so like, they were next to nothing. I, I got a ton of beads for next to nothing, so it was really cool. Um, just a couple days ago. So I might come back and share that with you if you guys are interested. Leave me a comment and let me know if you're interested in seeing some stuff about jewelry making. But I came on tonight mainly to uh, share some cards that I made and also to uh, share a few hauls that I've um, gotten in the last... I've got all sorts of stuff that I haven't shared. Um, I made Father's Day cards and of course they're long gone. I never shared them. <laughs> But things have been a little bit hectic, but it's summer now and uh, school got out yesterday, so things are mellowing out and uh, it's the weekend right now and I did make some cards. So this card here says sending you sunshine and I had shared some cards using these products. Um, I forget if it was for Mother's Day or birthdays or what, but on one of my other videos and this is a set that's called You've Been Framed Oval from Paper Tray Ink. It's a $5 stamp set, and then I'm not sure how much the die set costs that goes with it, but that's what I use to create this card. And the Sending You Sunshine sentiment is from another set that I'll, sell, I'll show you in a minute. And I think I've shown you the little felt flowers, um, the different things that I use to make the felt flowers that I put on my cards. Um, I might have, do I have one of the dies here? I don't. But the, little, the littlest flowers are from a die from Simon Says Stamp. Um, and it is a Simon Says Stamp die if you're interested. So, um, But anyway, so that's that card, Sending You Sunshine. And um, I'm pulling some cards together mainly because my mom had asked if I could replenish her, her cards. So the next um, cards that I made um, use this paper tray ink $5 set called Sending You Sunshine. Is that what it's called? I don't know if that's what it's called. No, it's called Corner Adorner February. Jeez, I'm spacing out, you guys. This is a series they're doing this year, um, the Corner Adorner series. And um, I wanted to try using it instead of in a corner, just try using it a couple different ways just to show some other ideas on how you might use it rather than just in the corner of a square or rectangle card. So um, here is a card where I used it on a circle die cut. And I did sort of arrange it on, you know, the nice thing about clear stamps is they're flexible. So I took a, a round stamp block 
and I actually arranged it so that it would kind of go around the sentiment, okay? And so I didn't stamp it the way the stamp is intended to be stamped, which is more perpendicular, okay? Instead, I made it kind of go around in a circle. So that's the fun thing about clear stamps, is you can play with them. And then this beautiful sentiment that says Sending Hugs is from a stamp set from Neat and Tangled. And this is, I just fell in love with this stamp set. Um, lately, I've had, I'm having to do way too many sympathy cards and cards for people that are ill and just going through different things. And um, this is just a really good uh, all-around uh, stamp set for those types of things. I am here for you. Wish I could be there with you, grieving with you, praying for you. Please know I'm praying for you, um, for your loss. Um, I don't know what to say except sending hugs or sending prayers or I'm praying for you during this difficult time and then today and in the days to come. So, you know, you can say today and to, in the days to come, I'm praying for you or I'm sending hugs or whatever, but um, anyway, I just, I had to have this set because it's just so usable and I've already used it several times. So, um, that again is from Neat and Tangled and it's, it, does it have a name on it? Oh, it's called No Words. So how appropriate. It's called No Words. So that is where this beautiful sentiment comes from. And then these little, um, tiny white sparkly sequins are some vintage sequins that Elise gave me that I keep in a little, um, basket on my desk here. Uh, let's see if I can grab it without knocking the camera over. But Elise gave me these and I just keep them in this little um, milk glass basket. So they're about the only sequins I've been using lately, Elise. Um, I love having adding clear sequins just because it just adds a little bit of sparkle to the card. So that's how I finish this card off. Elise, I hope you're doing good. I miss your videos. I know you're busy and, you know, moving just boy, it takes a long time to do all that and to get settled and unpacked and comfortable in your new place. And not only that, but your new community and everything. So I hope all is going well, thinking of you. Um, and I just appreciate the sequins. Thank you. So anyway, this card, I just, you know, the rule of threes. So I have three different colors here, the background color, the green, and then this plaid, which is from a set of paper from Paper Tray Ink. And, um, I was going to say this purple ink, I don't know, you know, it doesn't come across on camera as pretty as it is in person. In person, it's kind of a violety color and it's showing up dark purple on here. But I wish you could see it in person because it's really pretty. And it's called Amethyst Allure Ink and it's from Paper Tray Ink. And I think it's like my new favorite color ink. So again, I wish the lighting was better and you could see the color more truly because it is really pretty. And then the details that I added to the flowers, um, Betsy Veldman had shared, um, about this set of, um, pens. They're called Tri Plus Fine Liners. And I ordered these from Amazon and there's 36 colors and they're just an extremely fine tip marker so that if you're doing, um, you know, flowers or whatever, and you want to add details to them, it allows you to do that. Like I put a little dot in the center of each of these flowers. I did the little lines here. So it's, it's, they're just a really good set to go with your Copics for when you need a really fine dot or a fine point or something like that. So, and they were really reasonably priced too for 36 markers. I think it was like $19 or something. I forget. I got these a couple months ago and I've been using them for a while and I don't think I ever shared them. So anyway, so that's that card. And then continuing on using that corner adorner uh, set from Paper Tray Ink, I made this card too. And this time I arranged the stamp so that it would kind of come down um, and cascade on this tag set, which is also a tag set from Paper Tray Ink. It looks like this. And all their tag dies are in a section you can go look. But this is the tag set that I used. And, um, and then the flowers that are part of that corner adorner set, I cut them out. And again, I added the lines with my markers. So just a really simple card. Um, this is just an embossing folder, um, that I used. And then the big squishy hugs is a stamp set from Mama Elephant. And, um, that's the sentiment I used, big squishy hugs. But this has a lot of really fun sentiments in it. So... 
All right, so that's for Mama Elephant. And then I was going to, I forgot to say too that this, this circle die um, with this uh, really cute cutouts in it is from uh, Reverse Confetti. And this is the same type of die in a rectangle. I can't find my set of circles. This was just a die cut I had sitting on my desk from another project. So I was going to show you the die, but I can't find it right now. But anyway, it's from Reverse Confetti. And then to get the green color behind it, I use this set of um, circles from Cat Scrappiness, um, you know, which is a huge set of circles. And I found the perfect one to fit behind here. So I could put some green cardstock behind the white and kind of tie the green so that it's in three spots kind of throughout the card. So... Um, Again, the rule of threes are odd numbers. So anyway, so those are my cards. This is another one where I, I use that tag die and the big squishy hug sentiment. And then I cut out the flowers and uh, pop them up. So anyway, so those are the cards that I, that I made. And uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, listening <laughs> while I shared these. And um, I... Uh, I will come back on and oh I know what I can do one one more thing before I go I will share a couple um, hauls that I've done recently I ordered a little order from Gina Marie designs um, and I think she sent these as a free gift um, these little dots um, I had ordered these ones which are um, the light pastel pink lavender and green and I think she gave me these for free because they're not wrapped I don't think I ordered them. Um, and then I got this little golf cart because I want to make my, um, it's Stuart's dad's birthday in August and he's a big golfer. So I'm going to use that to make him a card. And then for birthdays, I ordered this um, stamp set uh, that's a cupcake set that looked really interesting. Um, it's a layering stamp set and then it has really cute um, uh, sentiments too, like be a beautiful cupcake in a world full of muffins. <laughs> and then it's got just a basic happy birthday. Friends are like sprinkles on the cupcakes of life. So, a uh, cupcake, a smile with frosting on it. You're so sweet. So anyway, that was a really cute set. And then I got this rose die. I saw a really neat card with this and I wanted to try it out. And then I got this stamp set. And I don't know if this has a name on it. Is it Flurry Wishes? Winter Girl. It's called Winter Girl. And I just thought that girl was so cute with this little fox. And uh, I love making cards for fall. And what's nice, you could do this for fall or winter, depending on the colors you choose. And it has um, Flurry Wishes, uh, Winter Wishes, and Snowy Kisses, which I love that sentiment. And then it, there's one that says, Hey Foxy, and then Baby, It's Cold Outside. And then there's a couple different snowflakes in different sizes. So from very tiny to medium sized up to bigger. So a really versatile stamp set, I think. Um, I really like it. I, I love that Gina Marie is coming out with stamps, um, which really is my first love. I really do love stamping. I love dies too, though, because they make your cards look so professional. Um, so let's see. So that was from Gina Marie. And then I also ordered... Um, from a, my friend Annette's store. It's called Drive-By Crafts. And uh, I ordered a few things. She gave me this for free. And it's a set of washi tapes that you just, that are on a piece.